Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so today we're making chicken curry. And this is a lovely recipe which I've learned from this lovely chef called Farah Jan Zaid. Um, may Allah give her Jannah because um, she passed away a few years back. I used to watch her programs in um, GOTV and I remember she used to make this delicious food. So she's the one who taught me this. So I just want to give her a shout out. Put onions in. Just going to let them cook slightly. And then I'm going to add chicken in to brown off first. So that's the first step you do. I'm going to add in some salt as well. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt in now. And a teaspoon I'll add in um, afterwards when I put the tomatoes in. Okay, so um, I've let this cook for about two or three minutes. This is I'm going to add in the chicken. And I'm going to let this brown off. So I'm going to let it cook until the chicken browns off, the onions go nice and golden brown. And I'm cooking it. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of um, mixed whole spice. Because I get the mixed whole spice, then I grind it. Bismillah. And I'm going to let it cook in that. The rest of the mixed spice I'm going to add in later. So I'm just going to let it cook. Because in the uh, mixed whole spice, it has coriander, um, cumin seeds, all the other stuff as well, like black pepper, long, I think which is cloves, cinnamon, everything. There's more of a coriander and um, cumin seeds. Okay, the one thing I want to mention is, because it's a uh, leg tikka, it gives out a lot of juices. You need these juices to run dry. If it was a whole chicken, it wouldn't give off as much um stock so you need this to run dry and we have a nice color okay so it's been about 20 minutes and there's still a little bit of, i think that's mostly oil but the onions melted off and the chicken is brown so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the chicken out and just leave the oil behind I'm going to put it all in here and put it aside and make the rest of the mixture in the same oil and onions. If some of the onions come into the chicken, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so in the rest of the oil, some of the onions have stayed back, so that's fine. I'm going to add in, Bismillah ar rahim tomatoes. So I've added in eight tomatoes. I'm going to add in one bulb of garlic, which I've um, grated, Bismillah. I'm going to add in a whole um, bunch of coriander, bismillah. I've left a little bit on the side, just a little bit, that I'm going to add in later once I've added the chicken in, just to give it the aromas, but I'm um, just going to let that cook. Okay, I'm going to add in, um, I cut up two inch length of garlic, um, ginger, sorry, and I'm using some of it now, and I'm going to use some of it when I put the chicken in. I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to add in the spices. Um, it's, I've put one heaped teaspoon of uh, red chilli powder. I've put in two heaped teaspoons of paprika and one and a half um, teaspoons of whole spice mixed. I'm going to add that in. This one there. And I'm also adding in three small, um, small chilies, chopped up fully. And I'm going to let that cook. Until all the tomatoes, so you can see the bits, but it's all mixed up and ready. I'm also going to add um, another teaspoon of salt, forgot to mention that. Just keep letting it cook until it cooks through and everything separate. Right now, you can see all the bits and everything, you want it all to just melt down. Okay, this is last. So it's been about 15 20 minutes. I've been stirring it every now and then, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. So, look, it doesn't stick to that bottom. This bit, I know you can see it's slightly burning, but um, that's because of what was on the side. I like it sticking slightly, so I really like that. But anyway, alhamdulillah, looks nice. The aromas are delicious. What I'm going to do is the chicken that we had put off later, I can put it back in now. This one I'm on here. And I'm going to cook these for a further 10, to 10 minutes, what I've done now. With this chicken, I'm also adding in a cup of yogurt and I add it in straight away. Now that I've added it in, like I've always said in all my vid videos, is if you put yogurt in, just mix 
mix it mix it mix it until it comes to the boil again otherwise it'll split and i do not like it when i can see like this kind of um split yogurt in a mixture so put it on high heat i'm going to keep mixing this until it comes to the boil so if it comes to the boil you can then stir it here and there but can you see the color the color's gone all creamy we want to bring it back to where it was stop it it's not boiling yet okay it took about a minute it's starting to boil now so then you can let go of it and now you can just stir here and there and keep stirring it and keep cooking it until it gets the color comes back I've put in red chilies so what I've done with that is um, I don't need to cook red chilies where you can cook, where you have to cook basal so Later on, I'll check the taste, and if I need to add it in, I'll add some more in. And um, if that's the case, I'll put I'll put it into the ingredients below. Please check the ingredients below. It has the ingredients and the method of making this. I'm going to add in the rest of the coriander and the rest of the ginger as well, and then that cooking. Just a quick tip: because we've cooked the chicken already, and now we're putting it in and cooking for a further ten minutes because we added yogurt in. When you're mixing, don't rigorously make it, mix it like this is what I'm doing. I'm just moving it like that every time I think it's slightly sticking. Let it stick a little bit, so don't just keep uh, mixing it. If it sticks, and then just mix it like that. After 15 minutes of mixing, I'm just going to split the green chilies and add them into the dish. And I'm adding four or five full long green chilies they're not going to add any chili any extra chili to the uh, mix just the aroma and flavor but anyone who wants to have a bit more spice can pop the chili into the plate and um and then it'll get more chillier so i'm covering it now and i'm going to leave it to rest for about 10 to 20 minutes and as you can see i've added a little bit of water um to it just so that the consistency is not too thick and you can actually plate it up so I'm going to cover it and I'm going to leave it for 15-10 minutes and I'll be ready. And there you are. Okay.